A bit of breaking news on this Wednesday evening, and this may have caught you by surprise. Just a week before the Masters, Justin Thomas announcing that he and caddy Jim Bones McKay have parted ways. Definitely uh, snuck up on me. The two have been partnered going back to 2021. So JT now in the market for a new caddy. And here was the statement he released on social media. While incredibly difficult for me to say, Bones and I have parted ways. I'm going to be forever thankful for him joining me on the bag in 2021. The things we've been able to accomplish together, the PGA Championship in 22, the President's Cups, Ryder Cups, all unforgettable experiences. His wisdom on and off the course has been a blessing during a tough stretch of my career. And he was there every step of the way. I know there are great things coming for both of us down the road. I wish him the best of luck and will always count him and his family among my friends. With more on this story, let's welcome in Golf Channel's Todd Lewis. Todd, a week before the Masters, why make this decision? Yeah, that's a good question, but it is a, a big surprise that Justin Thomas and Nick, uh, excuse me, Jim Bones Mackay have decided to part ways. And if you consider that it, Bones is an elite caddy, and his, his days go back to the 1990s. And obviously, Justin Thomas is an elite player. And in the two and a half plus years they've been together, they've won multiple times on the PGA Tour, won a PGA Championship at Southern Hills. But if you go back to 2023, Justin Thomas really had lost his mojo on the golf course. He did make the FedEx Cup playoffs. He did play better, at least at the beginning of 2024. He had four top 12 finishes in his first five starts, but his last two starts, he missed the cut at the players. He's a former champion there at Ponte Vedra Beach. And also he barely made the cut at the Valspar, finished tied for 64th there at that tournament. So things were not as good as they were at the beginning of the year. Now, you see this in sports a lot. Teams may not be clicking, and they decide to change lineups, change coaches. And ultimately now, Justin Thomas and Jim Bones McGuire have decided to make a change. And so he is going with a different caddy. As for Bones, well... What's he going to do next? That's a mystery. He's pretty quiet right now. Um, could he show up at Augusta National on some player's bag, given the fact that he was on Phil Mickelson's bag for his two green jacket victories? I mean, it's possible. Not sure if that's going to happen or not. Could he be back out on the PGA Tour? That's a possibility as well. But let's not forget, he's an excellent broadcaster, did a lot of great work for NBC and the Golf Channel. So, yes, he has plenty of options moving forward. Yeah, the man certainly uh, had some options. Uh, any word for JT on a replacement on the back? Yeah, it, it's a veteran caddy. His name is Matt Minister. He has been out on the PGA Tour for quite a while, back with Nick Price and Jeff Sluman. Most recently, he's been working with Patrick Cantlay. He worked with him when he won the FedEx Cup not too long ago, but he was replaced. Patrick Cantlay did replace uh, Matt Minister last year with Joe LaCava on his bag. So Minister is known as Rev out there on the PGA Tour. And if you look at his last name, you understand why. Uh, he's been kind of waiting for a good bag. And now he's got a good bag in Justin Thomas. And Thomas has a veteran caddy. So we'll see how that marriage works. Well, and it seemed like Thomas and Bones were going to last a while, especially with the hot start that JT got off. So to have back-to-back mm -hmm. -back, uh, poor starts... Then a caddy switch. What's his mindset like going into the Masters? You know, that's a great question. If you look back at last year when he was struggling, he wanted to take a little more ownership of his swing. He wanted to take a little bit more ownership of his putting. Um, and maybe right now he's deciding he wants to take a little bit more ownership on the golf course. And so when he is there, yes, he has a really strong veteran caddy and Matt Minister. But at the same time, he may just say, I want to take the controls more when I'm trying to navigate myself around this golf course, being Augusta National and moving forward from what I understand. There are two ways you can look at this heading into the Masters, George, in my opinion. Yes, he's excited. He's got a new face on the bag, and that may give him a different kind of energy coming into this year's edition of the Masters. Or he, this may be a feeling out process, and it may take him a few events to uh, fill out Matt Minister and for Matt Minister to fill out Justin Thomas. So we're just going to have to wait and see, and Justin's going to give us some answers next week. He is Todd Lewis. Todd, appreciate the insight.